Hi everyone! So today I've decided that I'm going to paint our ice hut, also known as a fish hut that we bought last winter. We were able to use it um, for a little bit last winter and we caught different types of fish like um, burbot, also known as a ling or a lake cod, and we also caught whitefish. So that's pretty popular on Lake Simcoe. So we decided to paint the ice hut because we noticed that every time we drive out to our ice hut, it'd be hard to find. The color of the ice hut is white. So it makes it pretty much camouflaged in the snow. So we're, today we are going to paint it with bright colors. We bought the ice hut from a really nice man who put his heart and sweat into it. You could tell that it was built with quality. The material he used for the outside, he used a pool liner. We do have a portable uh, ice hut that we take around. It's clam and it's a uh, highly insulated. It's probably the highest one that's insulated. But the reason why we prefer our hut is because of the fact that, you know, you can just go to it and it's less packing and putting away. Whereas a portable hut, we you always have to pack it down, which can take time and you don't really want to do it in the cold. What we also found is in the permanent hut, we are able to go out even during high winds. Whereas a portable hut, you'd be blown away. So it has pros for both, but if I had a choice to choose which one I enjoy more, it would definitely be the permanent hut. The only um, hassle of the permanent hut is having to relocate it when you stop spotting fish or stop marking fish. So that would be the only hassle. But you know what? If you're moving it once in a while, it's not too bad. And it makes it worth it. So the paints I decided to go with was Sharon Williams. Nice sales lady named Ashley helped me choose these colors. I figured this would stand out in the snow, especially in those whiteout conditions. So this one's going to be the main color, the blue one. The red, we wanted this specifically for the door. Okay guys, so the first layer of paint, of blue paint, is on. First layer has dried up, so I'm going to start doing the second layer. I'm only doing two layers because I think that should be more than enough. the second coat so I'm gonna wait about an hour or two to uh, make sure it's all dry so I can uh, fill in any light patches hey guys so now I've taped up uh, the door so I'm going to paint it red for the first layer. So I'm gonna wait for it to dry for about an hour or two, and then I'm gonna put the second layer. Hey guys, so while we're waiting for the door to dry, I am going to cover this window and all around it, around the trim, with foil. So that way when I'm spray painting it, it doesn't go on the blue paint. Rust-Oleum yellow. I'm going to use um, one of our window covers because it's just plywood 
to help me paint this. It's windy, so hopefully I, I don't screw up. So I kind of got overexcited when I used this yellow spray paint, but I wanted to get everything done just in case uh, it rains. I'm just going to let these dry and then I'm going to do a second coat on the red door. It's really windy here, so I tried to cover as much as I could in terms of being able to spray paint in a bigger area. Because it's been really windy, I got some yellow spray paint on the blue. So if you take a look. But I'm just going to touch it up with the leftover paint I have. And I've got a few drops here too. I already painted the red door with a third coat of paint. So it's starting to look a little bit more solid. Um, I was trying to debate whether or not I should paint this part over here. If I should paint it red or yellow. But my husband said yellow, which I actually agree because the red, if it was up here, it would look one with the door. I kind of want to make it look separate. So hopefully it turns out. I finally finished painting. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, guys, is adding our reflective strips. So these are really handy, especially when a lot of vehicles are traveling in the ice. And at nighttime, when their lights hit this, it's going to uh, make our hut even more visible. Well, I am done everything. fixing it up inside.